You guys see that? I just got a stringer full of Atlantic Bonita. It is an absolutely just gorgeous fish. Look at that. Hey guys, my name's Chris, and you're watching WC Fishing. <laughs> What is going on guys, Chris here, back again with another episode for you guys today. So, basically guys, um, here's the game plan. Alright guys, so I'm editing the video right now and I realize you actually can't hear a word that I'm saying because of the wind, it was really bad today. Uh, but basically all I'm saying is that I'm using the speaky rig to catch bait fish, and I'm going to use that bait fish, I'm going to drive to Jupiter Intercoastal, otherwise known as the Loxahatchee River, and I'm going to be using that bait to catch the snook there and the barracuda and all the other fish there. Back to the video. So, let's get started. Alright guys, driving the speaky down. Quite a few bait fish down there. I'm getting hit already. Alright guys. Got another one. Alright guys, got two species here. We got a uh, goggle eye right here. It's pretty cool. Scale sardine. Both good fish, both good bait fish. I'm gonna put them in the live well. Alright. Let's catch some more. Guys, on again. Alright, got two on the string. This is actually what I want more than the bigger ones. I want the small baits because the snook at the intercoastal are not as big as the snook here. So, these baits look pretty good. Alright, guys, there's the school of the need. I can see them. Oh, guys, I think I'm on. No way. No freaking way, guys. Guys, you guys see that? I just got a stringer full of Atlantic Bonita. Uh, speaky rig. Guys, check this out. That is incredible. Little Atlantic Bonita on a speaky rig. That's a new species for me also. I never caught a Bonita before. Uh, I'll put one of them in the live well. Alright guys, this is a new species right here. This is an Atlantic Bonita. It is an absolutely just gorgeous fish. Look at that. That's a type of tuna, in case you guys don't know. It's a little baby tuna. Um, I've caught the false abacore, which is its uh, northern cousin, but this is new for me guys. It's a big moment. Really happy. My second species of tuna ever, so really nice. Alright, let's uh, get a release. Here he goes. Alright, that was a lot of fun. Let's get the more bait up. Guys, getting hit again. I'm just gonna wait until a couple of them grab the rig. Alright, that seems like quite a bit. Ooh, that's heavy. There we go. We got three. Alright, guys, new species for the day. This is a uh, bar jack. Cool little fish. It's some really nice coloration. Alright, guys. On again. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, that was actually a decent sized blue runner. I just lost that. It's a little annoying. Alright, there's more than down there though. There's a school. There we go. Got another one. Don't fall off, don't fall off, don't fall off, don't fall off, don't fall off. Don't fall off. And here we go. Little blue runner here. Alright, guys, new species for the day. This is a blue runner. Uh, I'll use it as bait. Try to catch some other fish. Put them in the live ball. Alright guys, this is the sixth species of the day. It's actually, it might not be a straight Mahara. It's definitely just some kind of Mahara though, so that's pretty cool. Right, guys, so far it's been a pretty good day. I'm only doing bait fish right now, and I've uh, so far caught a new species of tuna, and six species overall. That's pretty cool. Alright guys, so I almost have enough. I'm just going to catch three more bait fish, and I think I'll be good to go. These are our fish guys. Swimming around, looking pretty good. All right, y'all, made it to the spot. Let's go check out the water and see what's, uh, what's in the area. All right, so there wasn't too much, but there are definitely fish here. So I'm gonna go ahead, string up a live line, drop one down there. 
Yeah, you can see some of the little reef fish. It's low tide, which is nice. I can actually step farther out. Yeah, a spot will do. All right, guys, got my bait. <sighs> Casting it out there. Let's see if something grabs it. It's got a nice fluorocarbon leader, so hopefully this time Kuda won't break it. All right, guys, we just had a uh, big fish come up and hit the little one that I threw in the water. I don't know what it was. Hopefully it's still in the area. We had a big splash though. Oh! Oh, Barracuda, it's a Cuda, guys. All right, I'm on. Come on, don't you. Don't you do it. Guys, again, really? All right, guys, the Cuda just broke me off. <laughs> that Cuda has got to have a lot of hooks in its mouth. A lot. All right, well, at least we know that it works. Uh, Cuda's here. All right, guys, there's a big fish right over there in the water that I threw out there from the bucket. It's dying, and basically it's uh, getting a lot of motion, and hopefully that means that another barracuda might come back. I'm going to cast this out there and see if something grabs it. Oh, guys, something has it again, something has it again. All right, I'm going to let it eat. I'm going to let the line go out. All right, I'm on, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, look at that. A little hard head catfish. All right, guys, so one thing to remember when handling these fish, they have a very sharp spine at the end of each of their fins. This is a hard head catfish right here, new species for Florida. I've actually caught, I have caught this before, so it's not technically a new species. See this barb, guys? That is super, super sharp. It can stab you in the hand. I know a lot of people who've had that happen to them. Same thing, they also got a barb here and one in the other fin. That's a cool looking fish. Let's get it back. All right, guys. So uh, that was an uh, interesting video, I guess. Well, I went to the pier first, got a lot of species there. Ended up catching first ever uh, Atlantic Bonita. Caught four of those, which was really fun. Uh, and then I also uh, ended up catching a hardhead catfish here, which I have caught before, uh, but it's been a long time, so that was also a fun fight. Lost the cuda again, that was a bit frustrating, but I should have known, you know. I had no way of knowing if that was a cuda or a snook or a jack, I just saw a blow up on the top of the water, and I threw the bait fish at it, and it turned out to be a cuda. And I knew as soon as I saw the cuda grab it, like, you know, there was pretty much no chance. So I set the hook and then it just snapped right off. That's all right, guys. I'm going back to Juno later today. It's going to be in the second video. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you on my next video.